the owner of Deja Vu Liquor Store here agrees. He says a group of teens hit his store three times last week. He says they boldly walked in and boldly walked out with things they didn't even pay for. But on Friday, things got violent. Three teen girls went into Deja Vu Liquor Store Friday afternoon and weren't going to let the clerk stop them from stealing vape pens, cigarettes, and alcohol. He tried to stop him, but no, no, don't do it. The store's owner, George, didn't want his face shown on camera, but he showed us his security video where you can see one of the girls throwing a punch and causing chaos over the counter. As they were about to leave, the girl in the white top punches the clerk in the face again. Then the group comes back in and starts taking more items, and that's when the same girl hurls a bottle of wine at the clerk's head. If she hit him, she's going to kill him. The video shows the girls came back three times. They continued to curse, threaten the clerk, and trash the store. But before leaving for the last time, they had a message for the clerk. You cannot touch me. I can do whatever I want because she's underage. She knows it's nothing going to happen to her. No consequences, no punishment. The law too soft. George and many store owners are frustrated. They're victimized over and over again, many times by the same people. Some law enforcement officials blame Proposition 47 for the dramatic spike in shoplifting and thefts because it reduced penalties in our state. Anything below $950 keeps the crime a misdemeanor, which most likely means very little or no jail time, even for repeat offenders. Police say people are now well aware of the reduced penalties. It's terrifying, you know. It's horrible. LAPD detectives say in LA County, criminals are emboldened because there's no consequences for nonviolent crimes. They point to the fact there is now zero bail on all property crimes with arraignments six months after the arrest and that the DA's office does not seek sentencing enhancements for prior property-related crimes. They should put him in the jail, punch him, teach him the right way. I don't know who's raised these people. Now, detectives on this case say because that bottle of wine was thrown at the clerk's head, because force was used, they are treating this case as a felony regardless of the girls' ages. Now, detectives do say they're working some pretty good leads, but if you have any information that can help identify and locate those three teens, please call detectives at LAPD's Topanga Station. Reporting live in Woodland Hills, Rachel Kim, CBS2 News.